If you're looking for speech therapy exercises for toddlers, you came to the right place. Welcome to Toddler Speech Boost's Toddler Speech Therapy Exercises, lesson number two. If you're concerned about your toddler's development milestones and you're looking to help develop their speech at home, then this video is going to provide several techniques you could use. Each week we're going to provide new lessons, so you can keep coming back to get more information and keep on developing your toddler's speech. These lessons can help a wide range of children. Whether it's speech therapy for a 12 month old, speech therapy for an 18 month old, or speech therapy for a 2 year old and older, they're going to work for a wide range of children. But before we begin, I'd like you to do one thing for me. Please subscribe. That way you can stay on top of all the new videos I'm going to put out and you can keep on helping your toddler at home. The first technique or game you could try is called Leader. This essentially is giving your toddler the ability to lead and they're going to decide what you're going to play and what you're going to do for your time. This will encourage them to take the initiative and try to be a little more bold in terms of what they do during play and how they're going to try to approach speech and trying to say things to you. So this is a great game to play to help develop their speech. So it's very simple. Whatever activity they choose, and whatever they want to do, whatever they want to play with, you're going to follow their lead. They're going to make the choice of what it is. If they're going to want to run around, you're going to run around. If they're going to play with the farmhouse, you play with the farmhouse. Uh, if there's dolls, whatever it might be, focus on what they do. And the reason actually this helps uh, as well is another key technique with speech development for toddlers is that they pay more attention to you when you're engaged and talking about an activity that they have an interest in. So this is key to this activity. While playing the activity, obviously they're going to say words, they're going to do gestures, they're going to do a lot of things. What you want to do is actually correct the words if they get words wrong or if they're just making sounds to try to say a word like uh, you know, k, k. If they're talking about a cat, you could say cat. Cat. Or if they're using a gesture and pointing to uh, a farmhouse, a uh, toy farmhouse I'm assuming, uh, you can point uh, as well, smile at them and say farm, farm. So that's going to encourage them to uh, mimic what you're doing because you're mimicking them and that will hopefully encourage them to actually try to uh, pronounce and enunciate the words that you're pronouncing. The next speech therapy exercise is very simple. It's called just using real words. Um, what this is is really avoiding baby talk with your child. Use real words when you're speaking with them. And I'm not talking about if you have an infant at six months old. There's actually some science around baby talk and how that actually helps their development. But when they're getting to the age where they should be speaking, you want to use real words. Children will pick up and understand a lot more than you're going to think they're going to pick up and understand. So using the proper language earlier on is going to help with their speech development. Don't try to baby and, and make the words simpler for them. Use the real words. Make sure when you're doing this you're speaking clearly uh, and use simple words. You know, there's a lot of ways to describe things in the English language or whatever language you might speak, um, but try to keep to the simpler words so it's going to be easier for them to pick up. And if you do these techniques, and these are ones you could do all the time and you should be doing all the time, uh, this is going to help develop their language a lot quicker. The next exercise you can actually focus on is looking through picture books with your child uh, or family photo albums or anything that's visual and will get their interest. So the reason you want to do that is a lot of picture books for kids or family photo books have a lot of vivid photos or if they're black and white they have some very cool contrasts and can have some really interesting things to look at and kids can be very visually stimulated. So that's a great thing to get them focused on something like that. As a photo gets to their attention, what you want to do is help them learn the words uh, that's uh, specific to it by labeling what they're looking at. So if they're looking at a, a vacation you were at and you're at the beach, you could say, uh, you know, point to the water and water, and sand, and, and whatever there might be in the picture, and just start labeling everything that's in there. Obviously, you want to focus on labeling the words that are simpler and more likely to be used by them in day-to-day -day use or in, in within the year. You may not be going to the beach in the, uh, in the winter too often, depending where you live, but you will probably go sometime during the year. Uh, but, you know, if you're looking at something that's very complicated, don't try to describe something that's uh, uh, above their head. Also, after describing what they look at, Give them five seconds to think about it and maybe repeat it or maybe try to start sounding out the words or making a sound or, you know, if they're just thinking about it, that's a big step forward. 
part of what kids really need uh, and toddlers at a very young age when they're trying to develop their speech is to be able to focus and think about how that sound is made and by seeing how you do it and by hearing it and by having a little time to think about it their little brains are working and starting to get there a little quicker. So you may be thinking what does this all mean and what should I really do next? Let me give you a couple quick tips. Uh, first, create a schedule of what you're going to be doing with your child over the next week. And I think it's very important for you to create a weekly schedule. Uh, start on a Sunday night, figure out what you're going to be doing Monday through the end of their uh, their awake day on Sunday uh, throughout the week. And come up with when you're going to have a playtime that's focused on speech improvement with them every single day. Doesn't need to be long, 15 minutes at a time. Uh, and just try to plan that out for the week so that you've got time set aside to do that. Also, try to focus on learning more techniques. So if you want to learn uh, some techniques and get a free assessment guide, you can go to my website right now. The link will be down below in the description and you can sign up for a free uh, assessment guide of where your toddler's speech is really at. Uh, Last thing I would ask, if you could like my video, uh, that'll really help me. I can create more content when I get more likes and I get some more uh, some more love from YouTube. And leave any comment below in terms of questions you have on these techniques on what I was teaching you here, or if there's specific techniques you've heard of that you might want to hear about, or any other questions you might have. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, so please leave those below. And if you want, watch all the, uh, the speech therapy lesson videos I have on this site. Uh, I'll be putting more and more of them out there, so I want you to get as much education as you can.